Howdy! I'm Professor Curtis of Aspire Mountain Academy, here with more statistics homework help. Today, we're going to learn how to find and interpret a confidence interval for a population mean with sigma known. Here's our problem statement. Salaries of 42 college graduates who took a statistics course in college have a mean value of $64,300. Assuming a standard deviation of $16,562, construct a 99% confidence interval for estimating the population mean mu. Okay, because we know what sigma is, which is the standard deviation for the population, we're going to use a normal distribution. We're going to calculate z-scores. So to do that, I'm going to pull up StatCrunch. I could use the z-score tables, but my preference is to use StatCrunch. So inside StatCrunch, I'm going to go to Stat, Calculators, or excuse me, I'm going to go to ZStats, one sample, because I've only got one sample I'm looking at, with summary, because we don't have actual data, just summary statistics. Here I'm going to put in the values that they give me in the problem statement. So there's my mean value. There's the standard deviation. There's the sample size. And now, because I want a confidence interval, I'm going to click the radial button here next to confidence interval. And we want a 99% confidence interval. So I need to change this default from 95 to 99. I hit compute. E voila. There's my lower and upper limit for my confidence interval. So I simply slip those values here into my answer fields. I want to round to the nearest integer. Excellent! And that's how we do it at Aspire Mountain Academy. Be sure to leave your comments below and let us know how good a job we did or how we can improve. And if your stats teacher is boring or just doesn't want to help you learn stats, go to AspireMountainAcademy.com where you can learn more about accessing our lecture videos or provide feedback on what you'd like to see. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.